the power. This mag. What's up, family? This is Too Cool TV. We are representing Powered by Vibes at thepowersback.com. It's been a while since I've been doing these, been busy, but now we're back and we're super far behind. So you guys might actually go back to getting two of these per week until the end of the year, just so I can get rid of, through all of the um, suggestions that I have here. And to remind you for people who may have forgot or people who are new, Powered by Vibes is a project started this year in order to just bring some light to local musicians and small musicians in a DIY music scene. We want to encourage everybody to go out, see some local music that's in your area, little bars, little clubs and things that's in your area with bands you haven't heard of yet. Go check them out and go and listen to music online from smaller artists. There's a lot of great talent out there that doesn't get as much attention as it deserves. And with that being said, Today, we're checking out Suburban Ghost. This is a track called The Hanging Bandits. A bio for this group. This is a four-piece folk rock group from Hertfordshire. And this is in the UK, where they're from. And they have a big influence on folk music. They've been doing this for a while, apparently. You know, they this in their bio, it mentions that everything they do is in-house. Definitely to the spirit. They're powered by vibes, DIY. And uh, you know, hear some influences from Bob Dylan and the like, and, and they're supposed to be kind of lyrical. So without any further ado, let's get right into it, because people don't like hearing me talk a lot. And let's check out the, the uh, music. Yeah. <clears throat> Just the intro, just in case you didn't know that. I got the captions on by accident, but I actually kind of like it. You get get the the words. So, for what we're hearing, this is very simple. We just have some guitars going. And now we bring in the percussion. The bass comes in a little heavy. What is that? Like a like a mandolin? Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm just trying to take all of this in. There's a lot going on here. And I'm out of practice. I'm a little rusty. Pretty cool. Now this part's interesting. During the credits here, they got a little Unplugged version of the song. Any shade of honor that has been lost. Trailing nausea, come as you are stood at the sink, assessing. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's bring it back to me. Alright, peeps. So, yeah, kind of what I heard there. We had some cool stuff going on. We had, for the the instrumental, it was very simple. Had like a clean guitar sound. Like a, sounded, excuse me, sounded like an acoustic guitar sound. And that was like the main basis of the instrumental most of the time. Then the bass came in, a nice little like electric bass sound underneath. And the other percussion came in. Sounded like a whole bunch of hand percussion. So, you know, like I heard like, tambourines and things of that nature just all kind of mixing in and that was really nice you know for the for the lyricism 
some interesting poetic lyricism here. You know, I'm going to be honest. As I said, I'm out of practice with this. When I screened and pre-listened to all these songs, it was a while ago, so I forgot any comments I had on the lyrics. But it, it's definitely interesting what the lyricism is that they're doing. Like, I would have to listen to this a few more times to actually kind of grasp the lyricism and really give you a deep review. Maybe that's something more for the website. So maybe maybe these guys, you might see them featured on the powerisback.com um, when their uh, full project releases. I might have to review that. So now we're going to go to the critique section of the review. For critiques, I really don't have many on this one. Um, I think that it sounds good, you know, especially for what it's supposed to be. Um... I think I'm going to leave these guys alone with the critique section just because I understand what this is trying to do. Like, it's folk music. It's supposed to be very mellowed out type of a vibe. So I'm going to leave these guys alone with the critique section. You know, I like it. I like what you guys are doing. Keep up the great work. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys are going to be doing next. So I'm on board. I'm here for this one. So now... Without any further ado, it's time for my favorite part. It's not too late, so I'm just going to go crazy on this one. We're going to go to the Billboard chart. And we're going to see where I'm going to rank this song. You know what I'm saying? Where would I rank this song? As I always mention while before I uh, move this up, the Billboard chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. This is a recommendation of the order in which I would recommend these songs to people based on what I think would be the most popular. So it's not a reflection on quality, it's, it's a reflection of how popular I think that it would be. So I would probably move this one. I feel like this one does go somewhere in the middle of the pack. I'm gonna give it a place at number 23 on the Billboard chart because I feel like Two songs that is near. Crazy What's Happening. That was another um, from the UK group. I'm from America, if you can't tell. Because I'm fat. <laughs> and King Geo, The Pillar of Fire. They were kind of like a very experimental rock song. So I feel like this would slot in between the two. Kind of in the way that it made me feel listening to it. You know, like this one. It, I definitely felt a little bit more emotionally than I did listening to Pillar of Fire. However, it wasn't as catchy and like makes me want to dance as what's happening did. So I feel like that's the rationale why I put it at number 23. And um, that's actually a pretty good spot. Right now this is up to 41. Last uh, week we had someone that actually went to number one finally. But uh the video came out kind of ghetto, so you're actually going to see, sorry, see it the same day as this one. So go check out the last one uh, to the person who was number one on the Billboard chart. And we're going to go ahead and close this out now without making it get too long. So let's bring it back to my beautiful face. All right, everybody. So make sure that you go check out the Suburban Ghosts, the Hanging Bandits. Check out all their other music. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. And you guys are going to love it. And if you're in Hertfordshire and these guys are playing locally, go check them out. And we'll see. Powered by Vibes, you know, we, we might be reaching out to these guys once their uh, full album is out. So we'll keep an eye out for them. All right, everybody. We're going to leave it at that for this uh, episode. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. So with that being said, to Suburban Ghosts, to everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did, too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I'll see you on the next review. The power is back.